Hey, what's up guys? My name is Acherno and welcome back to my C++ series. So you're using Linux to develop C++ code. Okay, cool. Let's cover how we can set up the tools we need on Linux so that we can make C++ programs. Now, of course, there are so many different tools out there, so many different ways to write and build your code. I'm gonna cover one of those ways, one that I personally like. I hope you're ready to do some serious setting up. I mean, you've chosen Linux, so obviously you're gonna be prepared to do some work. Basically, we're gonna use CMake to generate project files for an IDE called CodeLite. CodeLite is a nice lightweight IDE that basically does pretty much everything you would expect, but isn't too heavyweight and just lets us write our code in a nice way. So let's go ahead and set everything up. So we've got a VirtualBox VM here running Mint 18.1 and I'm using KDE as my GUI. So if I go ahead and open a terminal, we can get started. So the first thing I like to do is set up a directory here called dev, which is basically gonna hold all of our development stuff. Um, we'll make a, and then basically inside here, we'll have a like a folder for each project. So I'll make a directory called hello world. Um, which is going to be uh, what we're going to do here. Now we're going to set up a basic Hello World project. Now in terms of the applications that we actually have to install, we basically need, the ones that we really need are a compiler, CMake and CodeLite. So the first thing you're going to want to do to install all that is do sudo apt-get update. That's just going to basically update and type in your root password. That's going to basically update all of our package packages, our package repositories. And then once that's done, we can actually install the packages we need. So what we need are, uh, we'll do apt-get install. I like to use vim as my terminal text editor. Um, and then we'll get J++ as our compiler. We'll get code light as our IDE and we will get uh, CMake and then just hit enter. As you can see it'll take 198 megabytes. Why? And this will take a while. Okay, so once that is done, let's go ahead and clear this. So we've got nothing in our directory right now. I like to make a directory called source, and that's where I'll actually put all of my source files. I'm gonna just create a file in the source directory called main.cpp. I'm just not, I'm not gonna write anything into it. I'm just gonna create the empty file. Um, and we'll actually let CodeLight handle that file for us. We're gonna need to set up a CMake file. And then I also like to set up a build script so that we've got an easy way to generate a project. So in terms of CMake, we'll make that first. I'm just gonna use Vim. You can use any text editor you like. The file is gonna be called cmakelists.txt. And this is gonna basically just instruct CMake how we want to actually generate our CodeLight project file. So first of all, we'll specify a minimum version of CMake that we need. Um, as a good rule of thumb, I like to just roll with version 3.5. We'll then give our project a name. So I'll call this hello world. And then we'll set up some variables essentially. So uh, in terms of like flags that we want to use for compilation, um, we want to use the existing ones. So that's uh, basically the existing CMake CXX flags, which are the compilation flags. Um, but in terms of what we actually want to do, we want to add up, we want to display all warnings, um, errors, of course, and then in terms of like which standard library we use, um, you can use C++ 11, C++ 14. Doesn't really doesn't really matter for this project since we'll be just using we'll be printing Hello World, but um, we can roll with 14 just to future proof ourselves a little bit. Um, we'll create a variable here called source directory, um, and I'll actually set this to be uh, the project source directory, um, and then essentially just a folder called source. So the project source directory is the directory we're currently in. And then inside there, I'm just making, I've just made a directory called source and that's where all my source files are. So that works out pretty well. Um, so we've set up these variables, right? Those two lines were just variables. We've set our flags and we've set our source directory. Now we actually need to somehow tell the compiler which files to compile. So um, again, we're using CMake, we can just use a glob for that. So basically I'm going to specify that my source files are going to be in that source directory. And that source directory is just this variable that I've made up here, right? And then basically anything inside that directory that ends in C++ and CPP, I want to compile. Now, if you had include directories and stuff, you would also want to set that up, but for now we're not going to do that. Um, we'll just add executable. So this is going to be our target. Um, hello world is our project name and then which files we want to pass into there are going to be our source files If you had again an include directory or something you would also pass it in here, but there we go. That's all of our stuff uh, That's that's our entire CMake lists done. So let's write and quit 
Now we'll set up a script that will run CMake for us. So I'll call this build.sh. Now this isn't really gonna build our code. It's just gonna generate the project. And I'll show you kind of how this works in a minute. But basically the first thing we wanna do is make sure that Bash is gonna be able to execute it and all that. So we'll add uh, bin sh as every Bash script will have. Um, then we'll do CMake uh, dash G. So in terms of the target, we're gonna be using code light Unix make files. You can also use something like Ninja if you like, probably a bit better than this, but this is just a bit easy to set up. Um, and then as far as my build type goes, I'm actually gonna set that to debug, my CMake build type, um, because generating a debug configuration is probably what we want anyway, since we'll be debugging a lot. And you wanna make sure the code light has a capital L here. Um, and that's it. We can write and quit that. And that's how it's going to be our entire script. Very, very simple. So now we're ready to run our script. Now in order to run a script in Linux, you have to mark it as, a, as executable. So we'll just do chmod plus x and then build.sh. So we're just adding the executable flag to the build.sh file. Now we can run it. And hopefully if you did everything correctly, you can see that it's written some build files for us. So if we look at the directory, you'll see there's a number of new files here. Um, the ones that we kind of care about are hello world project and hello world workspace. This, there are make files as well, but um, you can see that those are kind of the important ones. So now how do we open this in code light? Well, I like to just open it through the terminal. So you can just type in code light and then hello world workspace. Now, if you want to open it in the background so that you can still use your terminal, just add an ampersand onto the end, hit enter and code light should open. Now, you're probably going to want to run through this setup. I don't really care. So I'm going to hit cancel. Um, as you can see, we've got our project here and our target. I'll just make this a bit bigger. Um, we've got our include directory. So this is where all of our includes go. Source is just going to go in here. Um, we'll double click the file to open it. I'm going to just basically type out a simple hello world application. So we'll say and we'll do our little cn.get as well. All right, save that. If you wanna build it, you can just hit build and build project. Outputs down here, and you can see that everything's fine. Zero errors, zero warnings, we're ready to go. If we go back to terminal, and I do an ls, you can see we've got a hello world uh, file and it's actually executable, right? So that's our actual program. So let's go ahead and run that. There you go, hello world. We've written our first application. If you want to run it inside here, one thing I like to do is just go to preferences and make it use the built-in terminal emulator. And then you can just do build run. We can build it and execute it. And you can see here it is running inside of CodeLight. All right, that's it. Linux is set up. We're ready to write some code. We're ready to learn some C++. Over the next few videos, we're going to cover how C++ actually works because that's the key to learning how to write C++ properly. Until then, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you really like this series, you can support my videos by pledging on patreon.com forward slash the Until next time, goodbye. Vroom.